really just like a wet wash um, you can get. You can do what I'm doing right now if you want to, or you can wet your paper down first. But I'm going ahead and adding just a little bit of blue to start with um, in my paintbrush ahead of time. So it's just a really just a wet on wet wash that you're going to start with like this, okay? Uh, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of green to it. And you're working quickly, you're working quick, quickly with this type of pull out method, okay? So start with your background. This is just if you're wanting to do clouds, okay? Before it dries, I'm gonna soak that up because I'm gonna do mountains down here anyway. Before it dries, you're gonna take your Q-tip and you're gonna start pulling out that color. See that working? Pulling out that color like that. Once you get it pulled out a little bit, then it's going to look like you've got some clouds back in there, okay? Um, that's one technique. Or, here's another one that my painting two students were doing last year. I like this one better. Um, before it dries, now I'm coming in with a clean clean paintbrush. I'm just putting water on it. Clean only. And then what I'm going to do is take a paper towel. I'm just going to scumble. Okay, let me show you that technique again. This is called scumbling. I'm going to dip it into the clean water one more time. This is called scumbling. Okay. Back and forth. And I'm just reconstituting. What I'm, what's happening here is before the pigment is going to be permanent in the watercolor paper, I'm adding fresh water and then I'm going to reconstitute that area so that I can pull it out with the paper towel. Got it? So I'm going to do it one more time before this dries because it's a matter of minutes here or sometimes seconds before it dries too soon with watercolor, you guys. You're probably exploring and experimenting that since you have been working with watercolor for just a little bit now. So I'm reconstituting with my fresh water, no color in my paintbrush, and then I find a clean area on my um, paper towel, and then I'm just going to blot it out. Okay, so scumble it first with fresh water, and then you're blotting out. Okay, um, now that pigment, see that pigment right there that just stayed? That means it's set too long. It's set too long and it's already penetrating into the paper. So you're not gonna get a pull up for that. But see how pretty those cards look? Real subtle. Um, they're not, by any means, not finished. I would go in later and fine tune them and add details to them because this is just a pull out. If you leave them just like this, it's kind of like halfway done, in my opinion. Um, but that would be how you would do the clouds. Then I'm gonna add some details down here and I can show you what trees would look like with the pull out method is also. Um, you can do it with rocks, um, you can do it with bushes, you can do it with um, like a tree trunk, you can do it with a house or a side of a building, anything. Um, when you do portraits, you can do pull outs for your highlighted areas on your skin, all kinds of really cool things.
many students, by now you should have this um, type of painting completed. Um, I'm going to show you the next part of this where we're going to add trees. This is where we create depth because we're, we're painting in layers. Okay, so now we're going to add trees on top of this. And then I'm going to show you how ideas, how to pull out on your branches and your leaves of your trees so that you get a better idea of how this works. Okay, mix. so far um, it was like a bluish green I mixed those two together had a little bit of brown in it so then now what I need to do that's my that's my um, lightest value within the trees okay so what I need to do now is come up with a darker value um, anytime you go dark um, don't go black uh, I I like to teach the upper level painters to never, ever use black, okay? 
Stay away from it. Um, and I promise your life will be better. Um, a lot of a lot of artists stay away from black for a reason because it just it doesn't really accentuate your painting. So try to stay away from it. Now I'm mixing this color here. That's a cool, actually a cool color. So that is green, blue, and brown. Okay. And that's a pretty dark, you know, that's going to be pretty dark. And that's what I'm going for. So I'm going in and I'm getting a bit darker. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. See how that is? Now I don't want to cover every single don't cover every single branch because you still need that lighter color that you started with. And notice how I'm doing that. I'm what I'm doing is I'm I'm twisting like this as I'm blotting. So twist and blot at the same time. Okay. Your trees. If you if you looked at trees, these are kind of like evergreens that I'm drawing right now, or that I'm painting right now. But these evergreens will be thinner at the top, and then as you get farther down the painting, you're kind of spreading it wider. Okay, that's, that's the idea with an evergreen. Um, so these are the simplest for a painting one student these are the simplest trees to do most simple that might not be a word simple est. most simple <laughs> trees to do um, because of the blotting technique it's almost like you can't fail okay so if the person next to you is freaking out about the shape of their trees tell them it looks beautiful it's going to be okay Okay, remind them that if Mrs. Olds is not already doing that. Um, there should be no freaking out in painting one class because we're here to learn, right? And I promise if you're just blotting kind of like I'm doing, twisting your brush as you blot along the way, it'll be just fine, okay? So just twist, you're doing this, twist while you blot, okay? and try to focus a little bit. I'm, I'm placing a little bit of focus on skinny top, and then as I'm blotting, I'm kind of widening at the bottom, okay? Um, we need to do something down here that looks a little funky. <clears throat> so some of, this, some of these trees, I think, could be even closer for perspective reasons. So, um, to do is just make a few of them go down off the page at the bottom I'll show you so if, I, if I focus on this one and add layers you see that this one right here would be farther in front okay and I'm, I'm going to do the pull out to one of these <laughs> to kind of show you but with this pull out that I'm gonna do it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter so that one right there might be kind of a cool one to, to do with the pullout. Um, I'm gonna add maybe just a tiny bit of yellow to that, possibly, maybe that would work. Um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit right here to that one, I'm just kinda. This is how I would pay the, this close attention to every single one of these trees eventually but for this purpose for this particular purpose I'm just gonna load this one up with color load it up and I'll, then I'll show you how to pull out um, okay so <clears throat> okay taking a brush clean water and I am going to get that color in there, reconstituted in small areas at a time. I'm moving right here and right in here, okay? Right there and right in there are those two areas. Then I take my, um, there we go, Q-tip, and I just kind of pull that out right there, okay? So that area is just a little bit lighter. That's looking good. See how that pulled that area out, made it look more realistic, right? Um, down here, it's a little muddy, so here's my clean 
paintbrush, um, dab it with a paper towel just a second to get a little bit of that moisture off. So just take your paper towel. I don't have one with me right now, but um, I'm actually, I'm actually dabbing it right there on my, on the clean part of my Q-tip because I don't have a paper towel, but hopefully you'll have one. And then I'm just gonna do this. And it, the main reason why I dabbed it right now on that is because I wanted to get some of that water out. But see how that works right there? That really cleaned that area up. Not really cleaned it up, but it really made it lighter right there. And I'm just gonna pull a little bit more out. So that, that created a really cool effect right there because when it, when I pulled out those areas, it really accentuated the background and I've got like some really cool textural stuff going in there. So that's perfect right there. Um, and then just do that. You're, you're just doing that a little bit here and there on your painting. I'm just going to pull, pull, pull. Not everywhere, but just little areas. And every area you do that to, it's going to look like the sun is kind of shining on that area. It's going to make your tree look very realistic. Okay, so that's what I want you to focus on is getting all of your trees done. And then I want you to pick one, two, three, four, maybe five trees and make them pop in front of all the other trees. Okay, and then those are the ones that you load your color on like this one. You load your color on it and then you pull out your areas, okay? You get different shades of darks in there with the lights and then you start pulling out your areas. And then after you do that, you can kind of hold it back a little bit and see where you need to refine. But that is how you would do the different kinds of pullouts. So you can do it straight with, with the Q-tip. Um, you can do it with the clean water. Okay, and then like we did the clouds, we did the clean water, and then we blotted with a paper towel. And then you can also do it on your fine tune areas, like your really realistic areas up front with clean water, and then just pulling a little bit out with a Q-tip. Okay, so try that, see how you do. So here's what I have. You can see that this is the tree that I was working on right here. So if you compare it to this one right here, um, this is what the pullout looks like. But when you do pulling out, here's the cool stuff. Um, you see those little areas? It pulls up. So it kind of pulls the darker colors against the edges, and you have these really cool edges. And then you have some of these little spots peeking through. That's the effect that you get but you're still not finished after you do the pull out what you need to do is go back in with your whites or your yellows to bring out all of the brights okay the darks are plenty enough at this point but you want to bring out all of your brighter areas on top whenever the pull out is dry so you would do your pull out one day and then the next day you would go in and add all your details. So that's what you would need to do is go in and select only the trees that are gonna be in front. Don't do it on all of them. You know, some of these are in the back. That's in the back, don't do it on that one. Um, these are in the front. This is in the front. Maybe that one can be farther back. Just kind of be selective of which ones. Obviously that's in the back. So maybe do it on this one. Um, I would go in, really. I mean, I did this so quickly that I didn't really fill the branches. So I would definitely go in and fill them more. And I'm sure you will. But there's three right here. Don't do all three of them. Don't do pull out on all three of them. Just pick one. Maybe the one in the middle. Or you could even do the one over here. It doesn't matter. But don't do any more than like four, maybe, or five of these trees that that can have the pull out, but see how cool it looks when you create depth. You've got all of this, this foreground and then some of the trees are in the middle ground and then those mountains are way back in the distance. See how cool that looks? And then your background. Um, that's how you build layers in a painting, okay? And so I 
So this assignment is for you to create, work with me. Hopefully you have been here all of those days and don't have to do any makeup. If you miss art studio classes, it's impossible to get caught up. So that'll be your responsibility. If you miss one of those days, you will have to come in during advisory and make it up. Um, you will have a due date of eventually where I can't push it any longer. So you're gonna have to get in as quick as you can and make those up and then come up with a landscape idea like this one. And this is what you would submit as your finished landscape um, painting. And then once you learn the pulling out method this way, you can do it all different ways with different um, types of compositions. So I hope you have fun and I hope you've enjoyed learning some new painting techniques.